Walsh College of Music and Drama. I'm doing um, design for performance at uni, which is how I started making this puppet. Um, so this is Debbie. She's um, completely hand carved out of her body's lime wood. Her head is lime wood. She has a dark oak beak and a red oak legs, which were all um, bought from a local wood company. While I was making her, I was studying different historic ways of making marionettes. So all of her joints and movement has been heavily influenced by that. So her legs move individually, her feet move individually. Um, and you can lift them up with the handle. What I wanted most importantly was to be able to get the posture of the curly because they've got such an upright posture that can change to whatever they're doing. Um, I think they're sort of a, a diagonal bird is what I would describe them as because everything they do is in diagonals. I think artists play a really big role in conservation, even if they're not doing the actual scientific work or if they're on the ground um, sort of helping with the research, they're still putting out the media in the world. And to let people see these animals, whether it's through photography, whether it's through film, art is such a massive media that I think it is a massive part of conservation, whether it's conscious or not. Um, and I think that without it, conservation might be quite different, especially with children. I remember when I was little, I got the sort of, um, conservation magazines and they were all full of art and activities that you can do for kids. And that really sparked my interest in nature, especially. Um, it can be a really emotional thing for a lot of people. Um, so I think it is massively important. I think without the puppet, the children can sometimes struggle to absorb is so much information in one go and they need something to pinpoint and um, have as a source of um, memory recollection. I'm sort of trying to incorporate teaching about conservation and also teaching about puppetry in the same way um, because I didn't actually know that I was interested in puppetry until I came to uni. Um, it was a, a skill that I learnt in one of my first projects here. Um, and it's something that I've just grown to love more and more. And so I think it's a skill that if I was younger I would have loved to have a funny little bird that I can make do a dance or sort of just play around with my friends. And I think it can also teach them and let them actually process the information they've learnt in the lesson even better. Um, because I know, especially when I was a child, I would, if I made something, I'd run home and I'd go, Mum, look what I made, look what I made. This is this is a, a curly and this is why we made them. We had this person come and teach us today. And that's sort of what I want to be able to have kids still be able to, um, to experience now, I guess. I think it's devastating that the science suggests that curlews will be extinct in Wales in 2033. Um, they're such an important species in Wales and I know that so many people feel a connection to them, and especially in Wales, not just over England. Um, they're a beautiful bird that's been seen here for centuries and it's horrible that they'll, they'll be gone. <laughs>